Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome to a pretty awkward video to make but I'm going to assume that the people watching this video are true fans of me and my content and you know are a little bit concerned by the video title but I think it's time for some real talk. Um, in the past I've been afraid to talk about this kind of thing but I kind of feel like it's come to a head and unless I talk about it then you guys, my team GGK, can't help me and the channel to survive. Um, so what's going on with YouTube right now is that advertisers have pulled out of putting their ads on YouTube videos because they don't like what their ads are playing on. Now what this means is that it's negatively impacted upon my ad revenue which is my earnings. Um, I'm just going to be honest here and tell you how much roughly I'm earning a day. I'm lucky if I earn around £8 a day at the moment due to this change, um, which is really bad. I've never earned as little as this ever, like, in my life, even doing, like, catering jobs, which I did previously um, during doing YouTube and before starting the channel. I've never earned as little as what I'm earning now. And... It's honestly really bad. The channel can't survive this way. The channel can't be sustained this way. There's a lot of expenses in running a gaming channel when it comes to keeping up to date with equipment, replacing equipment, buying new game consoles, buying new games, renewing licenses um, and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I, I work a lot really guys. I think most of you know this. I put a lot of love, energy and passion into the content that I create. And I would say roughly I'm working around 8 to 10 hours um, on the YouTube days that I have at home, which is about four days a week. But then I'm also working when I'm not at home as well, um, contacting devs about game codes, promoting on social media, my content and on forums, Google Plus pages, stuff like that, responding to emails and things. So essentially like I'm working seven days a week, even if I'm not recording or streaming, I'm still working when I'm not at home. So like I do loads of hours is what I'm saying. Um, I think a lot of people aren't aware just how much work is involved in running a gaming YouTube channel. There's like the creating of the thumbnails, there's the filling in of the descriptions um, with keywords and stuff like that, along with the tags, which are very important. Um, there's also the titles of the videos, there's a, the promoting on social media, forums, websites, Google Plus pages, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it may be. And obviously the editing as well, which is a big part of it. Not so much now that I've moved more towards streaming, but it's still a big part of it. Now, obviously, I've never been afraid to make investments financially into my YouTube channel, guys. I mean, literally every single birthday and Christmas, my money is spent on the channel. Um, it's only this birthday that I've made a note of how much birthday money I've got and I've said right this is the one year that I'm not spending my birthday money on the YouTube channel um but yeah I've still ended up spending money on the YouTube channel so I've never been afraid to make investments I mean the gadget chair blue and the desk setup that I have over there was a big investment that was over a thousand pounds you know with the new microphone the face cam the fiber business internet that I had set up which is around 60 pounds a month coming out right off the bat before game purchases um which is roughly around I don't know 70 dollars ish for my fiber internet and that allows me to stream at high quality Quality has always mattered to me, guys, obviously, um, which is why I wanted really good internet so that I can live stream, interact with you guys, and also have high quality at the same time. Um, so that's just really important to me. So again, I've never been afraid to make financial investments into the channel, but that is like really hard to sustain when I'm earning as little as I am now which again is a roughly around £8 a day, which is about $10-ish a day. 
So it's it's really bad guys and to be honest I don't know if I can sustain the channel this way. Um, I'm an adult, I just turned 29 years old um, and just like everyone else I have bills to pay, um, you know, and things to pay for by being an adult basically. I'm not some kid that's been doing YouTube um, a, a couple of months and feeling sorry for myself about a dream um, that can never materialize. Um, where am I going with this? I guess what I want to say is that I started doing YouTube full time because my channel was growing significantly, the earnings were going up and I felt like it was time to like fully invest in the dream and chase the dream. Back then that was a good decision. Um, in 2015, I will go over this because I do think it's relevant, I was roughly getting almost 1 million views a month and back then I was earning around £800, which is roughly $850 a month. So still not amazing, still not minimum wage for the amount of hours that I was putting in. And I was pretty happy with that. And I would gladly take that versus what I'm earning now, guys. Um, so I've never earned like minimum wage for what I've been doing. And I kind of accept that because it comes with the territory of being a YouTuber. Obviously, with doing something that you have passion for, that you really enjoy, you do have to kind of chase the dream and accept financial losses. But not to this point. I mean, this this is just not sustainable, if I'm being honest, guys. Um, and it's really, really sad to see. I can't afford to get new games. I can't afford to keep up with game releases because the earnings are so low and I do have bills to pay at the end of the day, just like everyone else. Um, and this is the reason why I've set up a new Patreon account and I guess what I'm saying, guys, is if you do love what I do, maybe consider pledging to me on Patreon. Um, I've got cool benefits and rewards on there, and it would significantly help me out. And especially for those of you that do use Adblock, I mean, come on, I know there's quite a lot of you watching this that do use Adblock. I get it. Ads are annoying. Um, I personally don't use Adblock on YouTube since I am a content creator and I am aware how much that helps out content creators. But I'm not here to make people feel guilty about that. That is your choice if you use Adblock. But there are other ways you can help me out if you do use Adblock, um, which I will get onto a bit later. But if you are going down that path of using Adblock, maybe consider just like donating to me every now and then using my stream tip link, which is always linked in my video descriptions and live stream descriptions. It's also on my YouTube banner as well. Um, maybe just drop me a donation every now and then to kind of mitigate that you are using Adblock. Or if you want to like dedicate a fixed amount per month to me, then Patreon is the way to do it because there are benefits and rewards that I have got up on there, which I feel like are pretty good. Or if you don't have the money to donate through StreamTip or Patreon, maybe consider turning off Adblock or liking the videos, commenting on the videos, favoriting the videos and sharing the videos. I can't stress enough how much sharing really helps guys. You know, if you're part of any gaming websites or groups or forums, you know, if people are talking about a certain game, maybe share my video if I've covered that game. It is a huge help guys. I don't care if people like hate it on the website or whatever but you've still shared it and that's still generated buzz like conversations and potentially brought in like new viewers to the channel so that kind of thing is a huge help um there's also another way to help me which is at no extra cost to you guys now i am a play asia partner and this is such a huge boon for the channel guys now what it does is basically because i'm a partner with play asia they give me so much credit per month to spend on their website, which means I can get like PSN points to buy games digitally, or I can import physical copies of games. Now, I do have to make so many sales per month to maintain that partnership. So it is important that I do promote this kind of thing on my Twitter and stuff like that. 
Um, you may have noticed that if you are following me. There's there's no getting around that. I have to do it to maintain the partnership. Um, so every time I make a sale through my PlayAsia link, which is a very specific link, guys, it only counts as a sale for me if you use my PlayAsia partnership link which I will put down below in the video description. I'm just going to put a link to the basic PlayAsia page so if you bookmark that link and you will see that it ends with very special numbers again I will put those numbers down below in the video description so you can double check that it is my link and um, it will count as a sale for me. Now what is great about PlayAsia is that you can buy things like digital PSN codes for the American store or the EU store so in pounds or dollars and they will send you the code like within minutes. Now this doesn't cost you anything extra but it does count as a sale for me as long as you go through my particular PlayAsia partnership link. Um, and every single sale that I make through those links also earn me a small commission as well. It is a very small amount. It's like, you know, maybe a pound or something like that, depending on the value of the thing that you are purchasing. Um, but then on top of that, it maintains the partnership and means that I can keep getting that credit every month. And again, it's at no extra cost to you. So if you do decide to support me on Patreon, guys, thank you so much for that. You don't know how much of a help it really is, honestly. You are helping me to live my dream and you're also helping to keep this channel around and help it to survive because that's how dire things are right now, guys. I'm just being genuinely honest with you. Will I quit YouTube? I'm going to have to take a serious look at the channel in a couple of months, guys, because it is honestly that bad and unless things pick up then I'm gonna have to seriously consider leaving. Um, I've done jobs at the same time as doing YouTube and I feel like the climate of YouTube has changed. People want things now, now, now. They expect the new games now and when you're working that is like really difficult to do especially around here when there's no like jobs that have set days and set hours. Um, so I don't know if I would go back to work and do YouTube at the same time or if I would just shut up shop and leave. Again, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. The channel was growing, the channel was doing well, but then it took a nosedive. So it's not like I'm sat here complaining about a dream that never materialized. The dream was there and it was within my grasp. It was just that changes were made that negatively impacted upon my channel. Um, which just sucks if I'm being honest. So this is why I'm looking at outside sources like Patreon. Um, you know, I've done merchandise in the past, but sadly not many people were interested. So I don't know if I'll go back to that. I'm definitely going to mention Twitch because I'm sure there's loads of people who have already commented about Twitch without watching the full video. Twitch is a no-go, guys. You cannot make any revenue on Twitch until you are partnered and other than that, you have to rely on tips. I do not have a culture of tipping on YouTube as it is. Don't get me wrong, I do have some dedicated tippers like Rad192 who tips every now and then, but that's one person. Like, other than that, I probably get maybe a one-off tip every two months off some random anonymous person, and that's it. Like, I don't have a culture of tipping on my channel. I've tried Twitch previously solidly for around a year and it didn't work. My audience didn't follow me over and people didn't tip. So suggesting Twitch is a no-go, guys, when the only real way you can make money is through partnership and having that subscribe button. I couldn't get it within a year. My audience wouldn't follow me back when my channel was successful and getting almost a million views a month. So it's not going to work now. So Twitch is just a no-go, guys. It makes more sense for me to live stream on YouTube where I am earning some ad revenue rather than risking it all and going back to Twitch and fully relying on tips. It just doesn't make sense. That said, I have actually set up a VidMe account, um, which is a platform that does rely on tipping. But it's really no extra work because I can simply link the URL of my YouTube videos and they go over on VidMe. And then because I am verified now, people can decide to tip me or not. So it's just a case of linking my older videos 
that I've already done the work for and to kind of see what the culture is like on Vidme. It's a possibility, but I'm just going to give it a go anyway. So if you do search for Gadget Girl Kylie on Vidme, yes, it is genuine. It is me. No one stole my videos or anything like that. So um, yeah, feel free to follow me on there and support me on there if you want as well. So that's it for this video guys, um, hopefully some of you will decide to support me on Patreon, I do think it's one of the best ways to do so, and again if you can't pledge a fixed amount monthly, maybe consider dropping me a donation every once in a while through my stream tip link, it is greatly appreciated guys. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching, I guess. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about what comments I'm going to get, but we shall see. Um, I'm just being real with you guys. Every single YouTuber has bills to pay who are adults and who aren't doing this for fun. I'm running this as a business, so I have to talk about these things. But anyway, thank you for listening, and I shall hopefully see some of you on Patreon. Bye-bye, guys.